back for the throw. So it's such a great honour today to be a part of the uh, Sydney Recovery Walk down here with the Glen boys representing, uh, you know, go for recovery, live for life. Your beauty. Uh, just not long ago I celebrated my 14th birthday and I'm a man who couldn't get 14 minutes up in recovery uh, and today I'm in Belmore Park and I've done a lot of using and a lot of damage around here and today I'm here with um, two lots of rehabs and, and just with a group of people who are recovering who want to live life on life's terms, you know, no jails, no institutions and um, just uh, love and life. <laughs> Hi, my name's Les. Um, we're at Belmore Park today for our recovery walk, which brings back a lot of memories that when you do hit the streets, when addiction's taken over, that you end up in a place like this. And I spent nights in this place, um, usually up the hill, where you could watch to see who was coming, who was going. And it was relatively safe in those days. I don't know what it's like now. I'm uh, well past those needy days, thank God, but um, it's significant we have the recovery walk here and the entertainment because um, a lot of the people that are coming will relate to this place for exactly what I just said. Um, and, it, and it gives us a chance to really put the message of recovery out. You know, I'm so proud to wear this cap. We've just marched all the way from Town Hall to this park, and we're all going to have a big celebration here. And what we're celebrating is recovery. That's people whose lives have been destroyed by drugs and alcohol, and they've worked through the process. They've been to hell and back, and they've worked a way through. And walking up the street and all through to here, what we are are symbols to people that you don't have to live or you don't have to die in your addiction. You can actually find a new life. You can go from the shadows to the sunlight. There was a young girl walking with me and she said, you know, she said, I never knew I could live a life like I do. I never knew I could wake up not hung over but looking forward to the day. And let's pray somebody watching this Somebody on the street who was watching this march will think, gee, there is a way out. I can get over my addiction. That's what this is all about, being symbols to people that you don't have to be kind of imprisoned by the addiction. You can actually grow through it and walk into the sunlight. This is the green dog from... from, from uh... Hello. This is Rocky from the Glen. Rocky? Yeah. Hi, Rocky. They're chicken drumsticks with rice and it has a curry sauce on it and they were made fresh this morning for the here. Um, my name is Eliza Ingram. I'm Senior um, Case Manager at the Glen for Women. And um, we've brought our women here today to join our um, brothers, the Glen for Men, in recovery and their walk and the journey that they do every year. So. Um, we're blessed to be a part of it today and grateful for the opportunity um, that we get from the Glen for Women and um, we're hoping today that our part in this um, along with our brothers is to encourage more of our mob and um, community to come and get well and walk this walk with us to be on a journey. I'll go to Glen with all the boys and all the girls because I know they're all going to make it and complete their recovery. Fantastic. All the best. Thanks, darling. 2022. Yee-hoo. Mr. Kobe D. Woo! I was in the Glen back in uh, 2019. Um, I stayed for about four months. I was planning on staying for a bit longer, but life happens and, you know, I had to um, leave a bit earlier than I wanted to. Um, but I'm very grateful for the time that I did spend at the Glen. The biggest thing was the brothers that I gained while I was in the Glen. I'm sure a lot of you understand that and you know what I'm talking about is 
the brothership that you, you gain while you're in the Glen, you know. A lot of the brothers that I was in there with, I still speak to to this day. And we still speak to each other all the time, you know. And for me, when I got out, I had a bit of a lapse. And it, it took me to go back to my culture and start connecting back to who I was. And stuff like that, that really kept me strong and that kept me on the straight and narrow now, you know. Somebody tell them about the way we live it. Some brothers dead us on the center prison. When I was young, you couldn't tell us different. But then again, you weren't in the opposition. Look into the eyes of a teen who's never had nothing. Smoking bones and drinking mosey with the speaker pumping. Down the park, 50 deep, relocate to the beach. A hundred teens getting chased by them pump police. It was all fun and game until these drugs came. Popping pills and drinking liquor till the sun came. Ain't nobody there to tell us from a man's view. I was snorting coke and selling drugs like a man do. At least that's what I thought. I know that's not the way I was taught. But there's some things a single mother couldn't teach as a course. Learned my lesson from the street and nearly paid the price. Overdosing in the park and nearly took my life Now I'm watching as a friend, he's lost all the light Sneaking will he ever get away from smoking glass pipes Now he's at the bottom, old friends forgot him Tried to get away cause everybody tried to rob him Ain't nobody there to guide him, he just copied what he's seen Followed all the older kids, he turned into a fiend Now I stop and think about my message to these teens And I'm role model here, just a brother with a dream I just wanna see a change And everybody's asking me to change I'm just trying to take away the pain Everything that I was taught was in this bottle What we know is what we see and we ain't had no role model Everybody's asking me to change I'm just trying to take away the pain Everything that I was taught was in this bottle What we know is what we see and we ain't had no role model Old scars with new ways to cope Old ways with smoke, weed, pills and coke Long days, my mom seen it the most I was thinking about my neck in a rope That's why I can't go back Glad I got my life on track Now I can finally be the father that I never had I keep my mind on my money so we can never be broken on my time Because I know how much she needs her dad In a position, these kids always need a person to listen Always thought I was alone cause we ain't had no pot to piss And I was 16 with big dreams of man living No role models, just sold cousins as drug dealing Ice addicts and alcoholics in my building 2035, that's a place that I got my life visions All I know is I'ma keep with the facts I changed my life and I ain't never going back I'm gonna be that role model Продолжение